So finding again and foregrounding our breath. Feel the weight of the arms as the arms and the elbows release. Feel the hands subtly opening. Just from the pressure and the weight of release. We're finding the low belly as participant in exhale. So you can feel the epicenter of a very physical breath in the navel or lower than navel area. And we'll do just a couple rounds of Uddiyana to get us started. Inhaling. And then pause, holding the breath. We'll just be a very brief hold. And we'll get the feet active. Plant the hands in front of the legs. Swift, thorough exhalation. Remain empty. And then that epicenter beneath the navel, interior to the navel, we start to draw in. We're drawing from the perineum. So there's a quality of upward motion or movement. We'll release the abdomen. When we come up right, we'll switch the cross of our legs for our other round. Inhaling. Letting that breath spread down, down into the pelvis and into the ribs, into the back. Pause. And plant hands in front of the shins. Swift, thorough exhalation. Remain empty. And the drawing in, it's both a um, physical movement an attentional movement. With it, you may feel subtle movements. Of course, releasing, we'll resume our ujjaya breath, and then we'll switch into knee pile right over left for shoulder shrugs. And we'll just let the arms go beside us, inhaling. And we'll stay with the feet active, why not? <laughs> We're going to raise... Raise up and in the shoulders, so we're getting the tops of the shoulder blades to, to gather. And then exhaling, squeezing, gathering, and draw those down. 
feeling that muscular gather kind of working its way down each side of the spine a little muscular squeegee inhaling will release the squeeze every time there's a release of this of a squeeze it's a little little fluid flow in the tissues and from the middle parts of the blades exhaling gather squeeze draw down And as you're releasing the squeeze, inhaling, but stay with that release of squeeze. So it's not just a partial, you can relax, release, release as totally and as fully the, the shoulder blade area as you can. And bottom tips, squeeze the bottom tips. Exhaling, squeeze and draw down feeling and tracking the muscular activity going down each side of the spine and keep that head over the pelvis good inhaling as you're releasing the squeeze stay with the release follow that release out and out and out and out So you can contact that back of heart rather fully. Okay, slight adjustment to the legs. We'll open this up into shoelace, still right on top of left. Inhale, lift the left arm. And exhaling, the side bend to our right. I'll invite us to just touch into this back of heart. It's, to me, it's both the back of the heart and the back of the solar plexus. You can feel or aim for the back of the diaphragm or the area between the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. And inhale, we'll come up right. We'll switch the cross of legs. We'll do it on the other side. Let's start in the knee pile. Left knee over right knee. We're almost done with arms relaxed by our sides, inhaling. And feeling breath in the back of the heart. We'll pause here, raising up, gathering together the top parts of the shoulder blades, and then exhaling, gather, squeeze, draw, downward. And when we release the squeeze of the shoulder blade, inhale, slowly staying with the release, that gesture of release. Find out how far that goes, so to speak. Sometimes we have little conditioned, little almost like catches around release. Right? Middle parts of blades, gather, squeeze, contract, exhaling, gather, squeezing, drawing down. We can play again. So as we're inhaling, letting the squeeze go, stay with that release gesture. Follow it out, follow it out into all of its expansion as And the bottom tips, 
gathering, squeezing, exhale, drawing down at each side of the spine. And as we're relaxing that squeeze between the blades, inhaling, follow the release. Keep following the release. All right, we're gonna adjust our, our, our legs a bit, shoelace, just drawing the knees slightly apart, shin over shin. The right arm raises up, exhale, side bend to our left. So part of this area I'm asking us to just touch in and get a sense of this back of uh, diaphragm, the, the area between the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. It's, it's structurally a, a linchpin area for the, the, the structural unification of the, the hips and the shoulders. So majorly implicated in our twists it's also the top, kind of the uppermost structure of our hips. It's kind of the lowermost structure of our shoulders. And inhale, we'll come upright. We'll unwind the legs. Place soles of feet together. Barakanasana. And inhale, reach arms out to the side. Eagle, exhale the left elbow over the right. Left over right. And inhaling the solar plexus away from the pelvis. So you might even just send the edges of the feet into the ground or the sit bones downward into the ground to feel that uplift. Last time we played, we were kind of playing with his reaching moves. We'll inhale, we'll unwind the side. And to go to the other side, exhaling the right elbow over the left. So we're gliding the shoulders down. Can you feel the forward reaching, the outward reaching of the elbows, the forearms, and breathing into the back of the solar plexus, the back of the shoulder blades, where the upper back, or, pardon me, where the lower back starts to become the mid back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And inhaling, unwind. We'll help the legs together, or the knees together, and we'll lie down on back. Do a, um, 
a twisted root f. So when we lie down, we'll cross the left knee over the right. Optional, just tucking that left foot behind the right calf. And we'll use our hands to support our back of head. So we get the, into this twisted root shape. It's likely the lower, the mid back kind of arches off the, off the ground. So what we'll play with in this, again, it's just play, it's finding and feeling this mid back area is as we're inhaling, breathe into that, uh, that low back, that mid back, as we raise the head and the shoulder blades up. I'm just raising them enough to feel that back contact on the ground. Exhale, tailbone shifts, thigh press thigh, kneecaps lifts toward the sky, and drawing the low belly down, kind of gathering, pulling from the perineal area, and then inhaling, keep the head, the shoulder blades up, And exhaling, tailbone shifts, thigh press thigh. Be some rotation. Working with the low belly, low belly moves in. Gathering, drawing from the perineum. We'll do another inhale. Keeping that mid back, that low back contacting, exhale. Tailbone shift, thigh press thigh, kneecap, thigh bones, slight lifting motion, drawing the low belly in. And release, inhale, unwind. When I draw the belly in, in each of these motions, the rest of my body is rather quiet, so there isn't like a there's no convulsive pulse when I pull my belly in, so it's not a like a, I'm starting like a, a pull, a, a motor, an engine. It's not a, uh, it's just, just a continuation of exhale. All right, here's the other side. We've got right over left legs. Inhale the head, the shoulder blades up, feeling the mid spine. Contact the ground, feeling the top of the low back contact the ground. Exhaling, the tailbone shifts, thigh press thigh. Kind of lifting thighs into the sky. And as a continuation of exhale, drawing the belly in and down. Very smooth, smooth continuation. Inhaling is that release gesture, releasing that exhale gesture, that low belly motion. And then exhaling and feeling the abdomen gathering, gathering inward, thigh bones lift, keep gathering, stay with the low belly. There's no convulsive, compressive move here, it's just gathering, gathering. Pulling that thing in and down. And then releasing, feel the gesture of release. As we inhale. And exhaling. Pressing thigh into thigh. Drilling the tailbone. Drawing the low belly in. And then releasing, inhale, the head down, the unwind the legs. And maybe that's the upshift move for some of us doing the abdominals, is feeling that continuity between exhale and pulling the low belly in, is feeling that pulling low belly in lives on a continuum beyond exhale. So let's set a bridge and we'll be doing unlocking the hip move. So if you need or prefer a block, have one in play. 
fingertips skim heels. Inhaling into the back of the solar plexus. Exhale, the tailbone shifts, the low back lifts, the mid spine lifts. Can you feel how the glutes, the butt muscles elevate the pelvis? So it's a function of muscle involvement rather than bone or joint compression. Now with or without the blocks, it's still a glute or a butt move. So we'll allow, we'll press those feet into the ground, allowing for those butt muscles to continue to work here. Left foot remains stationary. Inhale, we'll pick the right foot up, crossing the right ankle over the left thigh. Staying light on the block if that's within your, your purview. Breathing in from pelvis to, to upper chest, upper back. We're breathing well, we're breathing deeply as we're supported on just one leg. One, one working hip. Let's we'll switch sides, we'll set the right foot down. And drawing the left foot up, we'll cross left ankle over right thigh. Now, as you're, you're pressing that right foot down, are you still feeling the, the, uh, the workingness of the right glute, the right butt muscles? A little deep in breath. Yes, yeah, so you're breathing into those back bones. You're breathing into the um, space of the pelvis. We'll set that left foot down. Press. Again, it's, it's, it's a practice, but feeling the butt muscles move the, the pelvis up. And we'll descend out of bridge. I like to bring the spine down just section by section. It's kind of a, a way of folding and moving the spine that's not too stretchy. So I can lower the upper back down and the mid back. So I'm articulating all of those sections of spine bones um, without it feeling too, too radical or too stretchy. So articulation. All right, we'll turn to a side, we'll press. There's a dolphin in our life, so let's get us some. We've got elbows under shoulders, knees under hips. 
just anticipate, I'll talk us through bringing one leg up at a time. So once our hands are set, toe pads curled under, you can feel breath in that mid back. Exhale the knees off the ground. Dolphin. One of the kind of the shoulder particularities of dolphin is we're attempting, just like in bridge, we're attempting and practicing getting engagement from the glute. Here, we're practicing getting engagement from the kind of the armpit side of the ribs, almost the chest or serratus. So how do we do that? It's feeling the bottom tips of the shoulder blades move apart from one another. So there's a very sp a specific broadening across that mid back that we've been contacting up to this point. So how would you feel that broadening from shoulder blade tip to shoulder blade tip. This is the bottom tip. There you go. So a deep breath might be sufficient to spark feeling of that area. The bones shifting. And you may feel a little muscular engagement in the side and front of the rib. So we're side and front. Go from about the armpit area just in and under the breast chest area. So it's just that side almost bleeding into the front. So you can feel a little engagement, a spark of muscle there. We're, we're, well, we're well into shoulder blade territory. And now the leg part. We'll settle that left uh, foot into the earth. Inhaling, smoothly elevate the right leg. And exhaling, pressing. Pressing through the ball mounds of each foot. switch sides, bring the right foot down. Inhale, smoothly elevate left. And inhale, we'll bring the left foot down to the ground. Smoothly set the knees down. Mm. Once you have a, a breath or two reset moment, we'll come upright, we'll stand in horse stance. As we do some twisting horse stance, So we'll start with legs three and a half, maybe four feet wide. Toes set out a little bit. Hands to thighs. Beginning breath, again in this pelvic abdominal depth of body. 
Exhaling, we'll press the right hand into the right thigh. Both feet very active. So it's not a weight shift in my feet. It's a, it's a hand pressure. Weight in both feet, feet secure, contacting. As my feet are secure, my pelvis remains kind of quiet in space, you might say. And inhaling, unwind, we'll switch sides. And feet really secure. It's not about weight shifting left or right, but as we exhale, the left hand presses the left thigh. Feet stay secure, weight stays distributed left and right. It's just the, the ribs, the trunk that twists, turns, moves. And inhale, come back centrally, straighten legs, walk them under you. And let's stand at the top of mat. We'll get into some suns. Hmm. Reconnecting with the breath. The physical breath carrier of this subtle breath. Subtle breath, the expression of fluency. It's like the fluid body. Some people call it the energetic body. Inhale, as the arms go up, feel the legs growing or descending into the earth. It's an attentional move, and it may just register in the body. Right? Exhale, fold forward, feeling the back of the skull and the neck softening. There's that gesture of release. Inhale, step the left foot back, lunge. Place the hands down, exhaling, we'll step right foot back, lower, cobra, inhale, exhale, downward dog. Softening through neck. Lunge, inhale, left foot between hands. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, reaching up. Reaching down also, right? Exhaling, hands to heart. Try to inhale, reach up, exhale, fold, inhale, right foot back, lunge, hands to ground, exhaling, chaturanga, step back, we'll go belly to earth, inhale, cobra, Ooh, exhaling, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, lunge. And 
as we ground. Exhale, left foot forward, fold. Inhaling. As we stand, feel the legs descending into the earth, the arms and the chest descending skyward, and exhaling, hands to heart. All right, let's go through just a bit more swiftly. Inhaling, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, lunge. Place hands down, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, drawing arms up, sending legs, tail downward, exhaling, hands to heart. Let's do another inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, lunge. Hands down, exhaling, we'll step back, lowering, belly to earth, all the way down, cobra. Inhale, pointing, reaching the legs back. Exhale, downward dog, lowering, pressing back. Here's the right foot, inhale, right foot between hands, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, step left foot forward into a fold, softening through the neck so that brain gets that gorgeous bath of spinal fluid. Inhale, we'll stand, drawing the arms up, and exhaling, hands to heart. We'll make a pause here. We're working uh, dolphin on the wall, so a little, little adjustment to our, our bodies, mats, and room. I'll just talk right in, so as you get adjusted, just join, join right in. Feet near baseboard. Uh, elbows under shoulders, knees under hips. And then exhaling the knees off the ground. Of course, the, the heels create a nice skimming contact with the wall. And then inhale, we'll place one foot up. Exhale, the second foot up, hip height. Now that bottom, those bottom tips of shoulder blades Can you still feel that motioning of bottom tips away from one another? It's super common for us to tend toward compressing the mid spine. It's really challenging to find those armpit muscles, armpit chest muscles as support here. So try to find those armpit muscles, armpit chest muscles as support or serratus if you know those. So can I feel that little muscular burp, kind of girding of su that support under the armpits? And does that help me breathe into the back of the solar plexus? You may have to use those feet actively in the wall, kind of grabbing, drawing, kind of contacting the wall to give ourselves a little lift. Now smoothly reach one foot away from the wall. If that does not feel secure, just keep both feet on the wall. This is simply a, a three or four breath move. And we'll switch sides. And inhaling, we'll step down. Softly set knees down. Ooh. 
And that's good on the wall. We'll come back away from wall. And we'll begin again at the top of our mat. Great. Cheer pose. Inhale, bend knees, reach arms up. Exhaling, fold, straightening legs. Monkey, inhale, lift chest away from lap. Exhale, step or lightly jump back, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog. Shoulders should be warm about, about now. Exhaling, downward dog. Archer Warrior One, inhale, right foot forward. I'm gonna use a strap. So option, choice. And we'll go right elbow up, left elbow down. Right elbow points up, and the left elbow points down. And staying connected to our breath, that choiceful sense awareness, that choiceful remaining in sensing, choiceful remaining sensitive, receptive to impressions, mental impressions, bodily impressions, energetic impressions. That's an awareness builder. So I remain in that listening mode, listening, feeling, sensing, sense aware, sense aware, bodily aware. Right? There's an awareness builder in that. So I'm going to lower the strap or exit the archer part of the arms. Relax the arms down. And we're moving into twisting warrior and twisting warrior interlock. Inhaling the left arm up, the chest lifts. Feel the mid spine lifting away from the low spine. Exhaling. Left elbow over right thigh. So that mid-back area we'd alluded to, you feel for sending breath, feel the breath in that mid-spine, backside. And preparing to descend more deeply into the twisting, the interlock of this. So we'll exhale the left armpit down. The left hand lifts under the thigh, the right hand behind the back. And recall, you could do this from your left knee. So if you need additional support. And when we release the hands, inhale, we'll set the hands down, the left knee down, and we're setting up twisting pigeon toward the thigh. So when I do this, of course I walk the, the right foot over, I lie the shin down. I get a great deal of benefit from one, if I need a, a little shim under my right tush, I can get that, but also having this right thigh bone 
run parallel with the edge of my mat. Okay. And then we'll hook the left elbow over the right thigh. Now sometimes what happens is I just do a reach over or a kind of start to arc my body toward the right side. All those are great. If you make contact, we're getting the left elbow or the left armpit to contact the right thigh. And I'll often just use the ground to press and turn the chest open. Reaching back to the left big toe. We stay connected to that inner left leg. And inhaling, release, hands under chest, exhaling, downward dog. We'll take a moment in downward dog to just gradually contract and kind of, again, engaging all of these muscles around the joints, I think is really a nice perceptual almost like a reset or reminder in ways. So I engage the quad, I push into the forefoot, I feel the calf muscle engage everything around the knee, and then I straighten the elbows, contracting the triceps and wrapping the shoulders. So there's, It's very helpful muscular moves to feel again where where am I in space, right? Because we're we're moving our our perceptual lens around. Here's our warrior one. Inhale the left foot forward. I should say archer and warrior one. When we set up the archer, left elbow up, right elbow down. There's a good chance that right hand or right wrist is touching somewhere near the back of the solar plexus. If you can feel such a contact point, send your right leg away from that right wrist. That's it, that's it. Super cool. All right, inhaling, we'll lower the arms out of that. Let the strap go. We're moving into twisting warrior. So on exhale, hooking the right arm over the left thigh. Breathing into the back of the solar plexus. And here's the next move, twisting uh, warrior interlock. If you remain in warrior, great, we just slide that right armpit down. If we don't interlock, we can grab clothes. If we're not in warrior, we can put knee down.
And here's the twisting pigeon. So we'll release the hands, inhaling, unwind. Hands down, right knee down. Left leg down into pigeon. There's a little, little particularity here. So I'm gonna get my pigeon so my left thigh aligns or runs parallel with the long edge of my mat. And to get my hips, as they say, square, to get my navel or my pelvis pointing forward, if I need a little elevation under the left hip, add it in. So it's a good, good twist on the hips and not so much for the low back, okay? All right, so the navel more or less pointed forward, the left thigh parallel with the long edge of the mat. We'll hook now the right arm over the left thigh. And again, this may be more of a, a side reach. It might be more of a, the beginnings of a twist. And I press out a bit through that left heel, almost like I'm trying to push my left heel away from my kneecap. It's a directional move, not so much an anatomical move, but a, but a, a direction. Yeah, feel the breath right between the, the shoulder blades, the bottom tips, the back, the back of the solar plexus. Inhaling, unwind, hands under shoulders. Exhaling, downward dog. We press back, take a few extra moments, just allow the the muscles and the tissue around the knee to just gently contract and feel the pressure, feel some engagement come on very, um, you know, slowly, methodically. The All right, inhale, step or lightly jump the feet forward, monkey, lifting the chest away from the lap. Exhale, fold. Note how your fold goes in terms of your hands on the ground. This fold may have changed a bit. Chair pose, bend knees. And now inhale, draw the arms up, lifting the chest, the abdomen away from the lap. Standing, exhale, hands to heart. Let's have a seat. And we'll do a revisit of shoelace the way we started. This time, when we put our right ankle over our left knee, it's to twist toward the foot. So again, I kind of press my heels out, feet active. Inhale, reach with the right arm way over that right foot. Exhaling, arm contact foot. We'll switch cross of legs. Back 
exhaling the left arm over the left foot. And I can carry the energy of exploration, the energy of propelling and moving into this space out in front of me. But to be super, um, uh, to have clarity with this, I'm not moving my attention. I'm not drawing my awareness outside of my body. It's just that I'm feeling the the spark, the, the spark of intent that feels like, to me it's that propulsion that doesn't quite yet have a direction. It's like turning the engine over without having a steering column fit in. And it's right there between the ignition and before there's steering, there's that energy of exploration. I just think that's a really fascinating energy to play with on a perpetual pose to pose, breath to breath basis. There's such a deep and intent quality of listening. Inhale, let's unwind. I'll give you a shavasana, please. Let's unwind. Lie back into a comfort, uh, comfort position where we could feel the, the gesture of release. And to put a fine point on that release gesture, the release, it's not a, a quit. It's not an energy of quitting or resignation. The release gesture, I find, is a global bodily softening that is immensely richer, higher fidelity, being focused, a being overachieving, being overdoing, right? It's a very being foregrounded state of, of body, state of mind. So without a thing to do, how do I experience who I am? How do I experience my beingness without a thing to hold on to? Who bees here? <laughs> And when you're ready, bend knees. We'll turn to a side. Use hands, press to seated. Namaste.